everybody, Tap Tap here, and just a couple things to talk about here. I'm a little bit behind on Abyssrium stuff, but uh, first I wanted to note that um, Farmer Lesbian ran the numbers, as uh, I figured she would, on the new event, and um, with the little hermit crab friend here, it's possible to be at the event from, um, from having no candies to beating the event, having one of each fish, in uh, just a week of minimal tapping and just basically just only using the crab after you upgrade the crab. No extra ad watches other than getting the fish the that require it anyway. Um, so very easy for even beginners. Uh, I really think this is a great balance to strike between Song of the Moon and uh, <coughs> their bizarre insistence on not having Song of the Moon. I still kind of strange that they really wanted to not do that, but whatever. Um, so I think this is pretty acceptable as far as events go. And um, I'm really glad to see that. And I just wanted to make a video and mention a lot of people were really mad that people were like complaining about the Valentine's Day event. Like, why, Mr. Tap Tap, if that is your real name, why do you want video games to be good? You know, it's their God-given right to make this game suck and everybody can just hate it and it should be bad. And uh, you shouldn't tell them that the bad things are bad so that they stay bad and then everybody quits and then everything will be great. And like, I, I don't understand the mentality of don't complain about bad things so that they stay bad and everything sucks forever. Because, like, there's this short-sighted mentality. Like, I understand that people, oh, they like the game. They want to defend the game. So anything that disagrees with the game is a perceived attack. And online, this is a pretty common mentality. And just people get rabid. And it's like, oh, no, must defend. Thing I like. Must save. Yes. And pff, I've been getting destroyed by allergies, so I shouldn't do the stupid voices. But people were just nuts about this. I got a lot of hate mail. And people were just ridiculous. And people were calling me traitor. And there's this, like, 60-year-old lady on Facebook. I'm not kidding about this. Who, um... She would post about me being a bitch. And just all of this like offensive slurs and just she would make multiple accounts uh and she um she even admitted basically that she made uh multiple uh, like alts on reddit um and the the six-year-old woman her reddit account was loves the d as in the d you you know which d as like whoa, 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 what I, I i've never been you know harassed by a hexagenarian over an online fish game so that was a unique experience not particularly one i ever expected or particularly wanted to to experience but hey i, I can cross that off my bucket list i guess but i i anyway get a little off topic There's, a lot of people were like hey let the game be bad let it suck and if you don't like it just don't play it and but the thing is if you just don't play a game that you don't like and the developers never know um, that why you didn't like it. They just got to close the game down. It's like, oh, everybody stopped playing. We don't know why because nobody said anything. So we just got to close it down. And then there's no game for anybody. And it never gets better. And everything is terrible. Like, <laughs> this is basically, objectively, the worst outcome for all parties. Um, so when something is bad, what you do is stay polite. I didn't swear at him or anything. I just told him, hey. This was not a good thing. Um, the thing before was a better thing. And in the future, you should do more good things than less bad things, you know? And a lot of people were pretty similar. Um, there was a, uh, there was this chart thing. I, I can't find it <coughs> at a moment's notice. But there's this thing. There was, like, huge rush of negative feedback after Valentine's Day. Um, slightly smaller rush of negative feedback after the spring event, which was pretty bad. Better, but bad. Um... Which sounds like a bad <clears throat> tagline for a movie. But um, <laughs> then from this one, there's almost no negative. The only, there was um, on iOS, people had a lot of bugs for this. Um, but on Google Play, there was no like backlash or anything. Because it's good. What do, you, what do you know? You make a good product and people like it. Who to thunk? But yeah, this is why we complained. We now have the game that was fun. It's fun again. Isn't isn't that a special thing? Like, when we complained, like, I, I... I don't understand why people thought we were, like, trying to drive to the developer's house and, like, shove a cream pie in their face and be like, Hey, we hate you now. Like, no. We just wanted the game to be good. 
and they made the game good again, and we're pretty much happy about it. I know some people were still disappointed because no Song of the Moon, um, but I don't think those people have really played with the new the crab, <laughs> because I was skeptical too at first, um, <coughs> but it turns out the crab is pretty effective. Um, thing number two, which I should have mentioned earlier, I blame I blame the, I got <coughs> I got a cold and now I either I don't think I still have a cold, but I think it's just allergies. <coughs> Excuse me, but you can tell the allergies. But yeah, um, somebody noticed that they have a new intern at their social media thing. So one of the reasons the Valentine's thing was so bad, um, they were extremely rude on Facebook. Like people like, hey, you guys ripped us off. I bought a thing and it doesn't work anymore because you changed the thing. And you're going to throw away. I've been playing this game for a year. And you're going to throw away all of this stuff I built up. And it's already useless and it's just so unfair. And then they're like, delete the game if you don't like it. That's Parker kissing the microphone. I'm sorry. He, he likes to kiss. Do not kiss the mic, please, honey. He likes... He's, he's giving you kisses. I don't, he knows. He knows I'm talking to it and he wants to rub it. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, they, they seem to have got a new social media intern, which I, as you might have noticed, I've been saying they need to do for months. Because um, they just never talked about anything. Like, a lot of people gave them cover because like, oh... English isn't the first language, blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, they didn't communicate like the original creator of the game is uh, Korean. But they didn't post in Korean. It's not like they just ignored their English fans and they had like a really robust, you know, dialogue with all of their Korean players. They didn't talk to anybody. They were extremely rude and they didn't post. They haven't, until this guy started posting stuff, uh, they hadn't posted in, in months. They, they posted like one thing. Like, they posted the ad for the spring event. Um, like, the actual ad, the paid ad, not even, like, a promo post. They didn't even mention it. Like, the most basic thing of running a Facebook page. They didn't even do that. And so I was wondering if they, like, fired the old person or what the deal was there. But apparently they got a new intern. And they're very polite. And they like chat speak. And um, <coughs> I haven't interacted with them personally but uh, people seem to really like the new social media person. They actually respond. Honestly, them actually responding is already a 10,000% improvement over the last one. Um, I got absolutely no response. I got one, one bug I got right when pearls were introduced. Um, they refunded my pearls. And every t other time I contacted them, I told them, hey, I made this guide. Um, there's this bug in the game that's been there for a really long time. A lot of people have this bug. People come to me all this time. Ignored. Reach out to them several times, and a lot of people, a lot of developers reach out to me, and <laughs> this was one of fairly few cases where I reached out to a dev, and nothing, absolutely nothing, and it was pretty sad. So I haven't messaged a new Facebook person yet, uh, I guess I can take that off screen now, but um, I I'm really glad that they have somebody that can actually provide support. I've been basically unpaid support for them because just the, their support makes no sense and they never even bothered to try to help people. So people would just ask me, which, as frustrating as it is, is a fairly reasonable response considering the situation. But I do get a little bit frustrated by 18,000 people asking me how I get so much candy. It's because the candy rolls over. And then even, and now, like, when people ask me if candy's gonna roll over, they they tried to break their promise. So like, I can't even give you a sure answer anymore. It's just like, ah, hell if I know, dude. You're on your own. But I think things are improving. I think I think exactly what I hoped happened did happen. We kind of let a fire under their ass with the whole Valentine's Day thing. And I really didn't expect them to change, not to this degree. But it seems like they realized that their communication was just frankly terrible. Like, inexcusably bad. Like, no communication whatsoever is better than telling your customer, oh, just delete the game if you don't like it. No thanks. Like, what the hell? Like, I know people love this Savage Wendy's bullcrap, which, that's garbage, by the way. I'm sorry. Like, I know some people on Twitter are like, oh, <laughs> Savage Wendy's. Like, no. Um, well, basically, every company I've seen try to emulate that is just awful. Um. Yeah, it, it, it's okay to be a little snarky on Twitter for, like, obviously fake comments, but you can't just be a dick to actual genuine customers just, like, asking for help and stuff. Um, and I just 
just honestly screw the whole Savage Wendy's thing. It's it's garbage, and anyone trying to emulate is a freaking moron. I'm sorry, but they weren't even really trying to be like that. They were just jerks, frankly. And I'm glad there's been a changing of the guard because that was inexcusable. Um, so things really seem a lot better. Like I said, to a degree which I I'm really impressed with. I I'm not often impressed with this game, frankly. Um, the visuals are really... I, I really like the theme. I really like the art style. And that's really just... And just helping other people. That's really... Only reason I still play is to make the guides and help people. Because a lot of people... You know, I've had numerous people say that, Oh, I, I never would have gotten far in this game if not for you. And just stuff like that really makes my day. And so... I don't really play the game for me. I don't really... I definitely don't do it for the devs. Um, so I f it was funny. People called me a traitor. Like, I was somehow, you know, <laughs> indebted to the developers to make them, you know, videos and tell people, hey, this is a cool game. You should spend your whole wallet on it. It's like, no. <laughs> I make videos because people get confused and they want to have fun in a game. I want to help them have fun. <laughs> That's why I do the thing. That's the only people I'm beholden to are myself and people who I want to help. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, things look pretty good. I'm still... <laughs> when you screw up as bad as the Valentine's Day thing, like, there was there was honestly malicious intent behind that. That was, like, the gosh upon, the, the nerfing of everything, trying to take the stuff away. Any one of those, any single one of those, it could have been like, hey, you guys kind of messed up, but I'll, you know, I'll forgive you if you don't do that again. All of that at once, plus the rudeness, it's like... Uh, something's rotten here, so... I gotta be a little skeptical going forward, but if we continue on the trajectory we currently are on, like, this has been, like, one of the best events they've ever had. So, uh, anniversary event was the first event where we really were like, whoa, this is BS. So, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out this year. That's probably the next event. I'm guessing we'll get a break from events for next month and we'll get the Krill Farm, finally? It's been over a year since the Krill Farm has been coming soon, by the way. It was introduced around this time. The farms were introduced around this time last year. And we still don't have the Krill Farm. I don't know what the deal is there, but I'll be... <coughs> excuse me. I'll be happy to have it. That's right, Parker. That's right. Yes. Yes, I know. <laughs> Thank you for your commentary. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, some people are sure to ask when the event ends, probably around the end of the month. That's usually how it goes. I would say, <laughs> excuse me. <coughs> mm. I hate, I hate, I hate spring. I'm sorry. Temperatures are great, but the, the pollen just kills me. <sighs> and you're not helping either, Mr. Long Fur and allergies everywhere. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I... I'm looking forward to the updates, and I'll keep playing, and I think, I think they realize, oh crap, and I think they weren't really sure how, how bad the damage was until the spring event, and if anything, <laughs> I feel like more people might have quit during the spring event than the Valentine's Day thing, because like, with the Song of the Moon thing, with the Valentine's Day event, the, the reactions were all over the place, because it was, you know, different, but really bad and with the spring event it was just the old way but still really bad and so I, I feel like a lot of people quit there because you know fool me once and all that stuff but uh yeah looks good now and <laughs> here's hoping to the next year of updates being all really good uh i i i kind of thought that once cheetah mobile bought them they'd kind of drag him to the ground and i Skeptic in me was like, yeah, this seems reason this seems expected. But hey. Sometimes you realize that screwing your customers doesn't actually <clears throat> tend to result in people continuing to play your game, and you realize, oh, maybe I should just make a good game. And so we're back to the good game part of the cycle, and I'm I'm down for that. I'm down for that. So, this is Tap Tap. I've been a little bit rambly, but yeah. 
This is like two or three videos crammed into one anyway, because I meant to do a thing about the whole, it's, you know, you can do it in a week thing, and then I meant to do a video about the intern thing, <coughs> but this damn cough makes it very hard to do videos where the primary thing I do is talk, so yeah. Anyway, hope you all had fun with the events, hope things keep going this way, and everything stays good, and, <coughs> excuse me, as long as this is how events are gonna be, or you know, that's similar in levels of goodness, I'll definitely stay on board and keep doing videos, and I've been having fun. So, see ya. Parker demands attention, so I better stop. <laughs>